Minecraft has been teasing fossils and skeletons for so long that I decided to just add dinosaurs to the game myself. They're huge mobs that make the world more interesting to explore and have unique interactions like these T-Rexes eating everything they see, these new powerful Triceratops shields, and Steve's caveman ancestors that love to hunt and gather. There's even going to be a new dimension near the end of the video, along with the download instructions, so like, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. The first dinosaur I added is this peaceful Triceratops. They're passive mobs that spawn in jungles and like to eat leaf blocks. The Triceratops' body is unprotected, but if you try to hit their head, they'll block it with their head shield and eat you up. If you kill them with arrows, they'll drop armor plates, which act as real plates that you can place down and put food on. You can also use them to craft Triceratops armor, which is just fun to walk in, but also lets you eat leaves. Most importantly, it lets you bend over and walk around just like a Triceratops. If you take the armor off, you'll stay bent over. I thought this was a feature Minecraft really needed, so I stepped up and added it. If you kill a Triceratops with a sword, you'll get this Triceratops head, which you can place as a cool trophy, or use as a shield that deals damage back to anyone who tries to attack you. There's also this skull version, which you can get by aging your Triceratops head in the desert for a couple of hours. Next up, I decided to add some two-legged dinosaurs. These Velociraptors are new hostile mobs that attack everything they see. They didn't have microphones during the dinosaur era, so I had to make my own sounds. These Velociraptors go ROAR! When they're not making cool sounds, they hunt in packs, and it's really easy to get overwhelmed. When they have you surrounded, there's not a lot of meat for everyone, and so they'll pick your bones clean and leave nothing but your skeleton. This introduces an entire set of skeleton mobs to the game, like this skeleton pig. I also added T-Rex. Just like in the Google Chrome Diner Runner game, they love to jump over cactus more than anything else. That means they'll leave you alone, but if you break any cactus blocks, they'll get their revenge. Roar. On the flip side, Roar. if you feed them some cactus blocks, they'll really like it and they'll let you ride them. They'll attack anything in your path, which makes them the first aggressive rideable mob. As a side note, I don't personally believe it, but if you think dinosaurs had feathers and evolved into chickens, I included this feathered chicken dinosaur variant too because I'm inclusive like that. There's also a rare Barney dinosaur, which stays true to the Barney show and only eats baby villagers. Don't let him near your villager farms. Those raptors are pretty scary predators, so these new pterodactyls evolved at some point to fly and avoid them altogether. They have these huge beaks that let them carry fish, blocks, and even fish blocks around. But the most important feature of the pterodactyl is that they go p and spit downwards. If there's a ton of pterodactyls in the air, it'll almost seem like it's raining. Another cool new dinosaur I added is the woolly mammoth. This guy is woolly, which means you can shear him just like a sheep. He looks really wrong without his wool though, so we'll keep it on for the rest of the video. You can also rub a woolly mammoth's wool to create these static electricity particles, which power nearby redstone blocks. These woolly mammoths spawn in the new woolly biome, which might look familiar at first, but everything is actually made of wool. You can even find what look like nether portals in the woolly biome, but it's actually a portal to the woolly dimension where everything is endlessly made of wool. Here's a jungle biome, and here's a mesa biome. How cool. Even the mobs are made of wool here. This is a woolly pig, a woolly creeper, and this is a woolly villager. I know you're thinking villagers are pretty human looking, and this one looks pretty uncanny, so I know you'll love this woolly Steve. This dimension is great for getting wool, but eventually you'll starve since there is no food. Every time you die, you'll respawn back in the wool dimension. Luckily for you though, you'll slowly get a taste for wool until eventually you can eat it as food. From then on, you can explore the dimension to your heart's content, 
you'll need to eventually find a woolly stronghold to enter the woolly end, where you'll need to beat the woolly ender dragon to make it back to the regular overworld. That reminds me, in that overworld, I also added some cavemen to fit this dinosaur prehistoric theme that I'm going for. They look different from Steve. They have worse posture, longer heads, protruded chins, a unibrow, and a tail from when they evolved from the monkeys. They drop caveman brains, which you can use to breed zombies, or eat to make your own brain bigger, but that's for a different video. There are hunter cavemen and gatherer cavemen. Hunter cavemen can break stone into pebbles by smashing it with their heads and can throw these pebbles. They also have throwable spears, which keeps mobs stuck to the ground. Gatherer cavemen steal food from around the world and especially love stealing from villagers. They bring all this loot to their houses, which are caves that face the air, and they can roll these new boulder blocks to cover the entrance to their homes. These boulder blocks have gravity and will naturally roll downhill. But the rare Sisyphus cavemen can stop it. Cavemen homes also have cave paintings, which go from simple to very realistic. These cavemen are actually so cultured that they built these new Jurassic Park structures, which have dinosaurs like the Triceratops and T-Rex from earlier, but also other ones for you to explore and interact with. Just like in the real Jurassic Park, there are also tons of baby villagers, because the park needs money to keep itself open, and needs a way to feed all these hungry dinosaurs. Roar, roar, roar. If you like this video, you should like and subscribe. I'm releasing the download to this mod at 1000 likes, because I need to put food on the table for my 10 kids and each like lets me buy a grain of rice. See you next time.